Everyone, welcome, bienvenidos, hola. This is another video, <laughs> another cleaning video. I hope you guys are ready. This video is a little different. I'm gonna show you a lot of befores and some of the areas that just are a hot mess. If you guys saw the last video, this pile finally, finally got tackled. But it was a hot mess and you guys saw, it was just a lot of clothes. But in today's video, we are going to be cleaning up a few areas, mainly in the kitchen, but we're going to go and tackle the dining room, the sliding glass door, the front door. And I'm also going to be doing a little bit of meal prepping. Um, I've gone on the, I've well, not gone on this thing, but I have been really particular in how I've been eating lately. And so I wanted to meal prep my lunches. Um, and so I'm going to be sharing that with you guys in today's video. I won't give you step by step, but I'll tell you what each of these items are, meaning I won't tell you how much to put in because I, I just eyeball it. I initially went off of Pinterest, got my first, uh, this is like the second time I've done this, second week I've done this. Um, so the first week I did go off of ingredients or step-by-step -step off of Pinterest. Um, but if you are interested in what I made and what it took and all that good jazz and stick, I hope you guys stick around. If this is your very first video, welcome. My name is Rosa and I'm a, I work out of the home. I work 40 hours out of the home and I'm a mama of three boys. I also I'm also a caretaker for my mother. I am married um, to a very busy man. He travels a lot for work. And uh, so we're, we're busy. And this weekend, he was actually home. It was his weekend to be home. So you may see him from time to time. He was actually getting some things done around the house. This day, it was a Sunday. Um, I said it in the last video. But I really just wanted to stay home and get a lot of things done that I have not been able to get done because we've always been on the go or I've always been on the go. And so... We slept in, took care of some important things around the home, and really just, you know, chilled out for when we could chill out. We also had our godson, Max, so my little, the, the joy of my life. You guys may see him, from, you know, here and there. Um, but he's walking or trying to walk, and he's just, he brings me so much joy. So, Anyway, welcome back, you guys. I'm so excited you're here. If you are needing some motivation, I hope that today's video brings that to you. Um, like I said, we've got a lot to get done, and I hope you're ready for it. So with the uh, oil diffuser going, I forgot what it was, with the oil diffuser going, all I did was use some lemon and some eucalyptus. I just love that combination. It just smells nice and crisp and clean. Now I'm getting all of the items out for me to prep. I've got my fruit or the strawberries soaking in water and vinegar, and I'll be doing the same thing with the grapes. Um, but I'm really excited to show you what I decide to do or in regards to my meal prepping. I wanted to create something for breakfast and also for a lunch or just use it for my lunch because my breakfast consists of, and I'll show you, um, a protein bar or not protein bar, protein balls. It's a peanut butter with, um, with oats protein ball. Those I just ball up and I take that with a banana. So I'll take four of those balls and a banana for breakfast and then I'll have some fruit in between that and my lunch. And then my lunch is chia pudding um, with some sweet, I know this is an awkward combination, but it's so good, with um, 
some sweet peppers on the side. Um, after I've eaten my chia pudding, I'll have some sweet peppers with some, um, what is that? Hungry cow cheese spread. That's been really good with that. Um, and also some cucumber, cucumber slices, but I'll show you all of that here soon. But we're going to clean up all of this fruit so that we can get started with the meal prep. So one of the first things that I did, and I inserted uh, the picture that I went off of originally, and I just tweaked it, at, you know, second week, tweaking it on my own, because now I'm ins inserting or putting things in that I'm really liking. So what I did was I did chia pudding, almond milk, um, a tablespoon of Greek yogurt, because um, it gives it that thicker consistency. And I did raisins, walnuts, maple syrup, and it was 100% maple syrup, um, what else did I put in this bad boy? Raisins? Well, you guys will see here. <laughs> but I, it turned out so good. So stinking good. So yeah, just chia seeds, almond milk, raisins, walnuts, crushed walnuts, um, and maple syrup and some Greek yogurt. Oh, and strawberries. That's what I also put in there. And it just, again, the next day it was amazing. And if you are needing a healthy snack or healthy breakfast or a healthy uh, lunch, I highly recommend you give this a try. Not sure if you like chia uh, seeds, but chia seeds is very high in protein and it's extremely gut healthy. So let me know if this is something that you would try or you have tried and what are your thoughts. So now that the chia pudding is made and mixed, we're going to just place it in the fridge and by morning it'll be ready, as I said, for a quick breakfast, snack, or even a lunch. Um, and then next we'll end up making my overnight oats and I've also inserted a photo for you guys. Just screenshot it or uh, freeze it because I did keep it in for quite some time in case you guys want to look this up. Again, I got this off of Pinterest. So now that I've done this a few times or a couple of times, it is very easy. This is a very simple, easy, um, quick meal or breakfast as long as you've got the time to do it the, uh, the day before um, so I'm using uh, quick oats and um because I didn't want to get the Quaker Oats because I've heard that there's, those aren't 100% like really healthy for you. So I just went and got the Target brand. But I am going to change it to more of organic um, oatmeal. Um, and I'm, I'm looking into that. I was advised on another brand, so I may give that a try. So what I did was just did some oats, put some raisins, some coconut shedding. I'm also going to, to put blueberries in here some um, maple syrup and then almond milk and then mix that bad boy up and put that also in the fridge.
So I did add some crushed walnuts into the oatmeal. I love walnuts um, and they're so good in oatmeal. So I went ahead and added that before I put them in the fridge. So now we're on into making the energy bites. Now these I used to make all the time but I had to look it up to remember how I made these or how to make them. And so with this one, I did a little different. Um, I added flaxseed. Now some, some um, places you can, or some in some directions say to add flaxseed, some don't, but again, this is what I want to put in it. So I did oatmeal, flaxseed, craisins, walnuts, dark chocolate, um, and a lot of peanut butter because you're going to need a lot of peanut butter because that's what uh, molds it together you don't put maple syrup in this because it's already the peanut butter is already going to be sweet and then this is the concoction once you start mixing it up now the trick is you need to let it sit in the fridge for at least 15 minutes so that the um, peanut butter can start getting thicker and harder so that it can mold into balls. And so um, I will, once I've mixed all of this up, I'll place it into the fridge um, so that I can tend to it later. So, but these are so good. Again, I eat these in the morning. I have, I take a banana and I take four of these balls and then I have my coffee and that is my breakfast. So let me know, have you guys tried these? Um, or let me know if you're going to check them out. You guys can see TK over there um, playing with Max. You don't see Max in the view, but he's over there in his walker that we got him and he absolutely loves that thing. Um, and TK of course is playing around with him. So, um, but again, yes, those are a lot of things that I make. I try to prep like meal prep at least for four or five days for myself and my oldest son. Um, if Liam wanted one, he could. I've tried to let him try new things. He's not really big into trying new things, but they're so good, they're so good. So now we're going to just finish meal prepping, not meal prepping, but just um, prepping the fruit. We're going to cut up this pineapple. It was delicious. Um, I am really big on buying fruit that is in season, um, just so that the kids and I have something healthy um, to have and to snack on. Um, right now the fridge we have um, um, pineapple, we have grapes, and we have strawberries and also blueberries. So whenever they want something, I tell them go take it. We also have oranges, we have pears, um, peaches, and also uh, some nectarines. So I, I just tell them go eat the fruit because it's so much healthier than all the junk that I buy you guys. Um, but I, I, I attempt, you guys, I attempt, I attempt. And I'm buying a lot of the leafy greens and fruit because if it's in the house and um, I see it, I'm gonna eat it versus um, having something you know unhealthy I'm gonna to gravitate towards that and so my mindset is changing to eating healthier fruit and vegetables throughout the day with of course some protein um, and then my meal time is of a either a steak or chicken or fish with um, vegetables or a sweet potato um, so that is what I've been doing and um, I have to tell you, I'm, I, it's, it's a struggle. It's a huge struggle for me because I'm a foodie. If there's something bad, if there's mac and cheese on the stove, I want a bite of it. If there's white rice, I want a bite of it, but I really have to be disciplined because I have long-term goals of wanting to be healthier and to feel better in my skin, especially if I'm putting all the time into working out and, you know, getting on my treadmill and getting on the Peloton, you know, I really want my body to reflect that, but how, how by how it feels and how it um, how it reacts to all the workouts that I've been doing. Every time I close my eyes. Close my eyes. 
So now that all the meal prepping and fruit prepping is all completed, it's time to wipe down the counter again. But I'm using my all-purpose cleaner that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm still using this. I still enjoy it. It is a um, it, it works really well, so I'm really enjoying it. I'm also using um, those microfiber cleaning rags that I got um, from TJ Maxx. I showed you guys over on my vlogging channel. So um, I just wanted a bigger Microsoft, Microsoft microfiber rag to clean the surfaces in my kitchen um, and also on my dining room. Um, the smaller rags, they work great and I still use those for like the dishes or whatnot, um, but I like the bigger ones much better. So if you guys are interested in something like that, I would either go on Amazon or just go to your local TG Maxx or Ross and look for the real big um, microfiber cloths so now that we are um, just finishing up with washing some of the leftover dishes um, that were used and some glasses that were found I will also go over and clean my kitchen door that leads out into the garage the window it has not been cleaned or wiped down and I don't know how long when Ruby Roo is home she loves to perch her little paws up here on the ledge and look outside and press her little nose up against that window and so I just needed to not only get the inside cleaned but also the outside this door really needs to get a good cleaning as you guys can see the door jam it's just nasty uh, I didn't think about doing it this day I just wanted to get the windows done um, and so that is what I'll be doing and then heading into vacuuming um, I also also needed to empty out the canister for the vacuum um, it was filled <laughs> filled so we'll be doing that as well So the kitchen is nice and cleaned, vacuumed and mopped. I used some pine glow, not pine sole, um, just because I had it and I needed to use it. I actually got it from the Dollar Tree. I was also told it was really good. So I was like, why not? I actually grew up on that. So um, I picked some up to use and um, so that's what I used to mop my floors. I was also told that the scent of the pine, gnats or bugs don't like. So let's just try it out and see if it will help with killing these nuts i've figured out which plant it is and it's the big tree that's in the house it's over by the chair i think i mentioned that before 
and um, I just love that tree inside that I'm not ready to move it outside yet. And so the hubs was like, Rosa, either you move this outside or you're gonna continue to fight with gnats. And so I'm trying to figure out methods because I've had it in the house before and ever since when I changed the soil and I repotted it, it now is when all these gnats are coming out. So I don't know if they will settle and go away. I'm not certain. So if you guys have a remedy so that I don't have to move that tree outside, that would be fantastic. So now we're in the laundry room, as you guys can tell, needing to get some laundry taken care of. I was actually able to fill up that jar with more, um, what is that? that powder I forgot what the powder is I'm having a, a blank I'm drawing a blank here but I fill that up and I put that back on the shelf a lot got done in today's uh just in today uh not necessarily in today's video I mean a lot got done in today's video but today I was just really excited that I was able to tackle a few things the hubs took max um later on um, and was just really keeping him busy so that I could get a lot of this cleaning taken care of. I was able to go out to the back patio and finally finish planting some of the, uh, put potting some of the plants that I had that needed to get potted and throw out some plants and water some plants. I have been neglecting that area because it's been so hot or if not, it's been so rainy. And we actually, um, my neighbor lent us his pre uh, pressure washer and I will be um, pressure washing the back patio and then finally giving you guys an after of that back patio. That video is still in queue for me to finish editing. Editing, It's all—it's actually almost done. I just need to show you guys the after. Um, there's just, <laughs> it's been a mess, but that video will be going up next week, finally. Next week, even if the back patio doesn't get pressure washed, it's gonna get edited and put up so you guys can see what all I did back there. So we're going to clean the sliding glass door, clear off this table, wipe down the table, and then also clear off um, the front storm door because little maxi boy likes to go and touch and put his little fingerprints, which I absolutely love. Um, and just, he loves sitting at that door looking out um, at everyone and anyone that walks by. So we are just about done with today's video. Um, needed to finish up with mopping and I will then show you guys the after. Once TK, look at my maxi boy. Just look at him, so stinking sweet. Once <laughs> TK leaves with him, I'll be able to finish mopping the floors and then tackling that pile of clothes. You guys have, if you haven't seen that video, that video was already posted. Um, so I posted that one first, but you guys, I'm so happy to have my sofa back. I'm, so, I'm happy to have a, a clean living room. <laughs> it's just, it's been heavy here. So thank you guys so much for being here. I'm so excited that you guys were able to enjoy today's video. If you did stay until the end, I want to start doing something. Leave me a heart emoji at the end. If you watched all the way to the end or no, a row. There you go, a rose. Leave um, a red rose at the uh, if you've watched all the way to the end. And if you did, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. And if you're new, thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Much love and God bless.